It's currently 6.30 a.m. US time on the East Coast and it's like 11 something at home but I'm going to the gym. Oh my gosh, fitness center, yes. Hello. New York City and a car park. Good morning guys, it is day two in New York. I've already been up since like 6.30 in New York time to go to the gym because I was still a bit jet lagged and I was like, I'm just gonna get up. So I went to the gym to use the gym in the hotel, which was quite good. There were like machines, some weights, it was good. And now I'm back, I had a quick shower and I am changed. Today we're going to the south of the island to see like the Statue of Liberty. What else are we seeing? The World Trade Center, Ground Zero, stuff like this. So we're gonna get this subway, which is like the tube in London, I assume. We'll come back later and we're going to see a Broadway show! Yeah, that's gonna be our day. So it's gonna be quite full on and it's super sunny outside. I haven't had breakfast yet. We're gonna get breakfast, right? Yes. Yeah, we're going to get breakfast first. That's our first stop. Whoa, the subway map. I cannot read this. Just about read the London tube map. What? So many lines. We're here. And we were going all the way to the bottom of the island where you can get the ferry to Staten Island. Because we could not read the subway map, we had to get someone to help us and we also got someone to help us purchase our subway tickets. You'll just have to excuse my American accent for the whole of this video. And thank goodness there were people in the subway directing you because otherwise we would have gotten completely lost, even though we had this map. We also found that the people in America were so much friendlier and so much more willing to help you in comparison to the UK anyway. We made it to the South Ferry stop like right at the bottom of the island and we are still hunting for breakfast. Mum was like, we're just gonna get late lunch. I was like, I'm not waiting till lunch. Oh, what is this? Oh, hello. How do you even go through this? Some fancy spinning door. Aha, here, I found my pickle. So this was a complete coincidence. We walked out of the subway and we basically found this vegan market stall with so many good vegan bakery things. So we're getting some breakfast from this vegan market thing. We're just getting the cinnamon bun thing to share and mom's getting a chocolate cookie for breakfast. I'm getting a pumpkin pie muffin and Emily's getting something else, I don't know. We just thought it would be nice to try like a standalone market thing. We have a tour guide, Emily. This is apparently the financial district. We're just currently walking to try and find a prep so we can kind of like get some drinks. Thank goodness, prep's everywhere. This is what I'm staring at right now, which is so cool. Look. How cool. We found a prep and bought drinks and then we basically ate our breakfast. Look. Whoa. It's like a sweet potato pretzel. Sweet potato cinnamon roll. Let's go. I need my greens. That's like good. That was breakfast part one. I got a pumpkin pie muffin. Mum got chocolate for breakfast. Emily got some oat things. No, oat meal cookies. The Statue of Liberty is there. Let's zoom in on the statue. Oh, can we go further? There, see, see, there it is. The Statue of Liberty. Right. 
So this fairy you just get on it one way and then you get on it to come straight away back because there isn't really anything to see on Staten Island apparently. Bonjour, Monsieur Spence. Bonjour. Bonjour, je m'appelle Oli. Je m'appelle Emily. Uh, J'ai très bien. Say to the statue of Liberty. I don't know. Bonjour. Bonjour. This is the Brooklyn Bridge. If you go to New York, I definitely recommend going on that ferry because it is free, you don't have to pay for it, and you get the most incredible views. It's currently like midday, I think, or just gone, and we're going to the One World Trade Center, which is so cool. Obviously, the one in replacement of the Twin Towers and everything. So, yeah, we're just walking there. It's like super sunny. I'm actually not wearing my jumper, which is like a shock horror. The trade Center is just like literally there, so. We're just gonna walk there now. She might. We have 20 seconds, Mum, to cross the road. The roads are so wide, but there's no but. It's, they're just really wide. The building I definitely know is called the One World Trade Center. I don't know what the one next to it is on the left side. I'll ask you guys. We're just having the conversation. Is college in America basically the equivalent of university in the UK? If anyone lives in the USA and would like to tell us. Please do. What is that building? That's really cool. Um, yeah, so we're gonna queue and we're gonna go to the museum. We've just been taking some pictures, trying to learn how to take panoramic shots and realize that I am absolutely awful. Is this the museum here? This building here? Yes. Yeah, this, is this really cool building was like... No, not that one. Really. Oh. Oh, this one, sorry. I don't know what that is. So we just looked around the memorial and the museum thing which was really cool. Yeah, we spent quite a long time in there and this building we just worked out it's a shopping centre like Westfield. It's so cool, like the architecture in this building is insane. We are now walking I think for about an hour, it's like a 53 minute walk or something to this place called Superiority Burger or something, it's a fully vegan burger place. It's having like a late lunch thing. So yeah, we've just got to get there and walk. And I'm missing the traffic lights. <laughs> yeah, so Emily was doing the homework and the, the planning of our itinerary when I was revising. I yeah, Emily made the map because, why would Emily make the map? Because she did geography like all they do when they study geography is colour maps, right? <gasps> no. So we're all kind of getting quite desperate because we're so hungry. We walked past that burger place, but we just didn't feel it. So we were like, let's go to this pizza place that was kind of like a backup that's 10 minutes away. Oh, we found it. What's it called? Matthew Kenny's Double Zero Plant-Based Pizza. It's basically like all green. I couldn't ask for anything else on a pizza. Mum got a spicy pizza, nothing changes there. Emily got a pesto pizza. I knew she'd eye up that pizza. <laughs> we are back in like the Times Square area. We got the subway back from the pizza plate. We were gonna go back to the hotel to like change a bit, but we decided that we would be too rushed and we're always in a rush. So we were like, we're just gonna go straight to the theater to see the Book of Mormon, which is so exciting. Also, we figured, or well, I figured, that I 
I'm the expert at the subway. Emily is so bad in the subway. I'm really good in the subway. And mum is okay, but I'm still the best in the subway. Like I can navigate the subway and go through the gates in the subway. It's really busy now at Times Square. This area is always in general busy, but I think it's rush hour. Are we going uptown? Yeah, we're going uptown. You know, and now we're stopping at the road. I think a lot of people in America, they just cross the road. But I don't rate that. The Book of Mormon! Are you excited? Yeah. Mum. She's excited. Yeah, oh, stand in the queue. I have pizza all around my mouth, but oh well. This is the stage show. It's the, the Eugene O'Neill Theatre. We booked our tickets before we went and we used this app called Todaytix which is so useful because you can get discounted seats and really good value for your money so I highly recommend you guys check it out if you want to get tickets. The theatre is so pretty and it's really big sitting on the kind of like base level orchestra. It starts at 7, not 7.30. Normally shows start at 7.30 in the UK. We love musicals so we had to go to see a Broadway show. This is just like a must do thing. I will let you know what it's like. First ever time seeing a show on Broadway, obviously. I've never been to America before. This is what you see Times Square looking like. Ah, lit up. And it's just like, whoa. Everywhere you look, it's just like lights everywhere. I'm suddenly really tired, that's why I'm a bit like, but Times Square at night, I really wanted to come and see it. And the last thing we did that day was go to the top of the rooftop bar in our hotel where we could see the whole of Times Square.